What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hope you're feeling good, hope you're looking good, hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Am I the Asshole and I did have three today. It is Halloween-ish, I think, and then, mm, probably not. And then uh, there is a wedding one in here actually. Um, but the wedding one is an update one, so I'm like, oh, okay. Might just need to do two today. Um, if you don't know me, don't know who I am, my name is Creations. I do a lot of Am I the Asshole and read a lot of random subreddits here and there. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, it's going to be Creations underscore Reacts on Instagram and GLKV underscore Creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. Let's get into some of these Am I the Assholes because one of these might be. All right, we're going to go ahead and start off with a strong hitter of Am I the Asshole for being a stalker? And that is a question. It says not the asshole, and I'm very curious as to why not. Um... So, uh, yeah, we're going to just classy yet sassy, all right? Hi, English isn't my first language, so sorry for any typo. Lovely that you informed that because some people speak it and just like me, um, don't know how to word properly. So, there's that. Um, last year, July, I had a big heartbreak when I found out that my ex-girlfriend cheated on me with her best friend. After that, my friends introduced me to a guy at our first birthday party we hang out that night and that was it we didn't see each other af other after that in october i threw a halloween party i guess it is halloween themed lovely at my house and since he was in my friend's group chat automatically he was invited we talked all night and i had a really good time with him we managed to hang out more times we saw each other almost every weekend and we talked every day honestly all of our friends thought we would get together. Turns out I was really into that guy and we were practically in a relationship after a while. But I was still traumatized and honestly, I had some big shit happening and my depression was getting really worse. So I told him I didn't really want to get into anything with him. Nearly Christmas, I went to another state to visit my mother and stay till January. We still talked every day, meanwhile, like always, but when I returned January 2nd, he was cold and difficult to talk with. I had a talk with him and he told me that he was confused with me. Like uh, that I told him that I didn't want a relationship, but I treated him like I was my, like he was my boyfriend. I told him that I was confused back then, but I would understand if he didn't want to get involved with me anymore. After that, we broke up. So y'all were together. My heart was crashed, crashed again, but I didn't want to give up on him, even if we would be just friends. He agreed to keep contact and kept talking. As I wanted to keep the connection, I posted about things I knew it would grab his attention, and I thought it worked. Sometime after that, he posted about this dog adoption event, and I got interested because besides meeting with him, volunteering, um, nope volunteering was something i really wanted to do since i was younger so i showed up there and some hours later he was he went there too but he didn't say hi or even looked at me i got a little sad at first but i had a big time taking care of the dogs and even made some friends some hours later i come home and went to Twitter to check some things. I noticed that his best friend that I also followed was tagging him in a post. So when I clicked to see what it was, I just found out he blocked me, which was really weird. I switched accounts and went to check what was going on. And when I got into his account, I read some posts where he was saying that I was stalking him, that I made his day awful and stressful, and he that he hasn't hated someone like that in a big time. I cried all day and even though my friends tried to cheer me up, I was devastated. Some weeks later, he unblocked me and he and said sorry for everything. But I know that it was a big lie because he kept referring me as his stalker during months. And because of it, I'm known as this hysterical maniac that keeps following him everywhere. Um, Emma the asshole for being a stalker. So, from this, I don't, I kind of agree. I don't know how to really answer this, I'm being honest, because 
assessing the story and giving the um, information that you've given, it just seems like, you know, it seems like y'all talked as if y'all were in a relationship and he just wanted more of a con confirmation to know if y'all were or not. And you not being sure of that, it just made it a little iffy. He didn't like that. Um, I don't know if it was because of maybe like you're looking at his post or something. I don't freaking know any other too much of the details, but it just seems like there was only one event, which is this dog event. And you know, you went to it, you probably wasn't expecting you at all to go to it. You went to it and it seemed like you had fun and he just didn't want to recognize your existence, which, you know, okay, fair. Um, but the whole stalker thing, there must obviously be some stuff left out maybe, or he just maybe overreacted and just was thinking, okay, this girl's being a little too much. He's getting around. Like, you don't know what we are and now you're coming to my events or whatever. But then the thing is, it's like, okay, but aren't y'all supposed to be like still friends or on good, on good, uh, good stance that's not the word but i'm gonna use it so mm, you know it, it just leaves me like so did he just overreact and take saying that you're a stalker or are you leaving some stuff out that we didn't know and yes i went to show marks so that's where I'm at, but because we only got the information that we got, I would just probably say, you know, I don't think you're the asshole, but I'm still in the area of like, it didn't seem like, at least again, from reading this, it didn't seem like you were really stalking him. It just seemed like y'all had a situation. Y'all weren't really sure, or he wasn't sure, and you weren't sure. Oh yeah, y'all weren't really sure. And y'all just decided to stay friends, but not really make something out of it. You went to an event, he was there and he ignored you. Apparently he was talking shit about you behind your back. And now that, I don't know, like, am I the asshole for being a stalker? Nobody's uh, good for being a stalker, but it didn't really seem like you were doing too much, I guess. <sighs> I'm gonna say no, but I think that's just because we're, it feels like I'm missing something. I think that's it. I think it's just because I'm missing something. So that I'm gonna say no, all right? And am I the asshole? This is gonna be the last one, but there's an update to it. Am I the asshole for wearing a wedding dress at a wedding? It says not the asshole, but that seems like a weird statement to make. Are you the bride? Is my biggest question. So my friend 20 female and I 19 male have been friends. Oh my God, you're 19 male? You're wearing the wedding dress? That feels like more of a joke. So we're already starting. Okay, all right, let me, let me continue have been friends for a few years and she recently got engaged. A week ago, I got a DM from her for a small costume party she was hosting as a celebration for her getting engaged. I asked if there was a theme and she said there wasn't. I'm a cosplayer, so I had a lot of choices. Lovely. I didn't want to rock up in, in rock up in an anime cosplay, so I thought it'd be funny to go to an engagement party as the corpse bride. Ooh! Lovely bitch. I love that movie. Down. Okay, if you don't know what the Corpse Bride is, stop motion, beautiful artwork, Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter. It's phenomenal. I personally love it. Um, so kudos to that. Um, I arrived at her house yesterday and everything seemed normal. A few people complimented my costume and I was having a lot of fun. After 10 minutes, my friend's fiance walked out in a black tuxedo and announced that this was actually their wedding. Apparently, my friend saw a video of someone doing this and wanted to do the same. What? Okay. He asked us all to go to the backyard for the ceremony to begin. I went straight to him. I asked him if I should quickly go home and change my outfit and that I would get back before it started. He told me it was fine since I didn't know this was the wedding. Okay, good. It seems like people are understanding. Is this about to go left somewhere? We still got some stuff going on. Plus, we got an update. 
I trusted him and followed everyone outside. They got married and everything seemed good. Okay, cool. The reception was just in their house again, so everyone just walked back inside and picked up where they left off. I tried talking to my friend and celebrating with her, but she kept making excuses to not talk to me. I assumed it was just because she was uh, tried from the big day, tired from the big day and wanted some alone time. I didn't bother her after that and the party soon ended. I got home and a half an hour passed with my phone started getting notifications. Notifications, if y'all didn't get that. I checked, me, I feel like I'm slurring a little bit. I checked and it was my friend texting me. She was cussing me out. Hold up. Pump the brakes. And telling me how I ruined her wedding. I was really confused and asked what I do. I'd ask the same question too. Because pump your brakes. That only made her more angry. Because I didn't know what I did. Hmm. She told me it was basic knowledge not to wear a wedding dress to a wedding. Well, if you inform somebody that it's a costume party and they show up as the corpse bride, obviously, at least from me, my perspective, I would assume they just didn't know that it was a wedding. But I think that's just because you didn't give the information that it was a wedding. It was a costume party. So... Okay. Um, where did I leave off? Yeah. The, um, she told me it was, uh, I reminded her I had no idea it was a wedding and that I asked her now, husband, if I should change and he said it was fine. She didn't respond, but I got a text from her husband. He asked why I would tell her he said it was fine. Because you did. I would not relay that message. I told him he said it was fine. Then he said I, how I should have changed anyways. And it's my fault that the two are now fighting over this. Seems like a your fault thing. Uh, not OP, but the husband. I've tried texting her that I would, I would, sorry. And if I had known, I wouldn't have done it. I woke up today and saw her and her husband have blocked me on everything. Okay. So am I the asshole for not changing out of the wedding dress when I found out it was actually a wedding? Personally for me, no. But um, we have some edits and we have an update. So let me know now in the comments before this, you know, what did you think? And then after the edits and whatnot, what else did you think? Because I might change my mind. No, overall, at least with this, not the asshole person for me. But I am very curious. There are edits. Edit. I am a guy. I cosplayed the character Emily if you don't know, that is from the corpse bride. She is the corpse bride. And had blue paint all over. And I'm also Australian. I've never heard a costume party, meaning fancy. Everyone was dressed up in funny costumes. Yeah, so I wouldn't think of it as a wedding. Unless that was the theme of the wedding and people knew it was a wedding. You see what I'm getting at? But there's an update, you guys. I honestly didn't think this would get as much attention as it did and I've tried reading through all the comments but damn there was a the, the, there were a lot I do appreciate everyone's feedback also I'm not sharing photos sorry just for privacy reasons I'm sorry understood I wouldn't share them either maybe maybe just cut the head I don't know now the update since they blocked me on everything I didn't try to reach out since it would be a waste of effort and I wouldn't either but I didn't block them back if they wanted to talk, I was fine with it. Two days ago, I was unblocked to my, by my friend. She asked if we could call and talk about what happened, and I agreed. True. Okay, all right. Cool. Because, I mean, if you block me, I and I find out later that you block me, depending on who it is, and it has to be a really close friend, then I might be curious and ask another friend that's close with the person or whatever what's going on if I just did not know. But I would hope that we have a good, you know, I would hope we have a good friendship to where you can talk to me. I would hope. Um, she apologized for blowing up at me like she did, but also told me she was still upset. Okay, I'll be upset if you want to. I was only met, I was only met, made aware because of the comments and now her. 
that wearing wedding attire to anything wedding related is common sense. Maybe he knew that, but then he also didn't know that it was a wedding. All I knew was the no white on the wedding day. Honestly, after people informed me, I felt awful and downright stupid. I wouldn't. So I apologized back for not ruining it for for not running it through her like I should have since I did not. You know what? I guess. But the thing is, the husband should have also not have said that it was fine as well. Like, obviously, maybe obviously, maybe not. Mm, I guess that since that was his friend, he probably should have asked her. So I can see that. But if the husband said it was fine, you kind of just, you know, you're a little, mm? but then I can understand why, you know, probably should have gone to her first. Um, I know lots of people were telling me to cut her off. I don't know if I would have cut her off, but I just wouldn't have reached back out. I would have just kept it like he did. But I've known her since I was 14, so I'm glad we can stay friends. Her husband, on the other hand, he had told her that he came up to me and asked me to change. And apparently I told him it didn't matter because I was already there or something along those lines. She was crying a lot while telling me after she blew me blew up at me and I told her the real story. She got pissed at her husband. The husband suggested both of them block me so the fight would stop. She agreed to it but was still upset by it all. Eventually she stated started asking people who were at the wedding to see what happened. Three people saw me walk up to him and heard me ask. This is where she learnt her husband lied to her. Again, a huge fight between the two. Turns out she's hated me since I met them five years ago. It turns out he's hated me since I met them five years ago. They had already been dating for a year beforehand. I became good friends with her, but not him. He felt as though I was trying to take his girlfriend. I don't know what I did to make him feel this way. She's beautiful, but I never do that shit to anyone especially if I don't know I can for some people <laughs> they're willing to uh, you know get in you know, comp, you know they love their friends where they start messing around okay um if you're my friend I I'm sorry it kind of cuts it off like we're friends now we're friends it just feels weird like we can be close but not that close like, I don't know. I feel like I have definitely made friends with people who I thought were really cute. And it was just that. I didn't really know too much about them. But once you become, but to me, when you become friends, it's like the cuteness. Yeah, it's still there, but it's like, I wouldn't go out with you now. We're friends. It's like we're siblings in a sense, you know? It, it's like that kind of feel. I just, it feel weird. I don't know how some people do it. Maybe they just didn't have that intention going into it which you know again you know probably think they were fine as heck and it was like let me be friends with them let me try to hook up with them later on or something i don't know but to me it just that just feels weird personally um let's see it's right here i don't know what i did to, okay right I don't know why he'd wait five years, but he decided the day of his wedding was the best time to get rid of me. I'm not really sure what's going to happen to them in the future. She's staying at another friend's house until her and her husband are able to talk about it. I doubt I'll update any more like update. They're getting divorced. Because that feels insensitive. Okay, okay, that's what I meant. Again, thanks to everyone for all the advice and point of views. It helped me so much. Have a good day or night. Edit. My friend doing a lot better and plans to talk to her husband soon. I've also shown her my post since I felt like she had a right to know. While some comments made her quite upset, but she knows she's she overreacted. My friend's emotions are always intense, but she tries her best to keep them under control. She's seen people talk about the red flags in her husband, but isn't sure what to do. She told me she'll decide based on what he does when they talk about it. I'll support her, I'll support her no matter what. She's decided. She decides. Even if he rubs me the wrong way and I have my own opinion on what she would do, what what she would do it's up to her she's an amazing person and i just want her to be happy so i love this i'm not gonna lie i do like this had a happy-ish ending 
Or at least for him. Husband, I don't freaking know. But, you know. Do we really care that deeply? I don't. You know, it is what it is. Um, let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Because I did not mind this. This was a nice one. I'm going to get back to these updates. All right. Recap. Am I the asshole for being a stalker? That one just had me a little bit conflicted because it's like, from the information given, it wasn't giving stalkerish, I guess. Maybe except for knowing where he was gonna, like the dog thing, but then even then it's like, y'all were up, leading up until that, y'all were in something, something was happening to where you had to say we broke up. So, situationship of some sorts, but I don't know. Um, but I'm going to say not the asshole overall just leaves you with the, mm, you know, kind of feel. And then am I the asshole for wearing a wedding dress at a wedding? You didn't know it was a wedding. It was a costume party to your recollection. You do cosplay and you wanted to do Emily from Course Bride. I freaking love that movie. So I might be a little bit biased. Personally for me, I don't think it, I don't, I don't, I don't think it was bad. I mean, he didn't know. He asked the... Probably should have asked a friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. He asked the husband. He, he thought he'd be cool, you know, like, or not cool with it, but like would know that she probably either one wouldn't like it or two would be okay with it. I know for some people, they might, it might be like, you know, well, he's the friend. He's probably, not. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, he thought it was okay. It was fine. She didn't know. Got wrong information. Got the right information now. Fixed it. They're great now. So personally for me, I feel like this at least ended happily. And do I think they were the asshole? No. Um, these were lovely. I gotta start doing back some of these updates. I love the, reading some of these stories. Um, do I do these after uh, I hit that record, stop the recording? No. But I love doing it with you guys, honestly. I love I love reading these to you guys, in my opinion. Um, let me know if you want me to do any more um, specific uh, wedding ones or whatever. Leave in the comments. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to do one every single day, but no promises to if I can't, but I will try to make up for a day that I miss and just post two. I'm gonna try to do that. Um, do I have anything else? I don't know, I don't think so. I'm gonna go ahead and dip out. Love for less one of you guys. Deuces, pieces, Reese's pieces. Bye. So I did record this in the same day because I wanted to go ahead and get this, you know, done. We'll be posting this on Friday. It should be. It should be Friday. The uh, what? Fourth? Mm hmm. Yeah. I gotta go to my friend's house and drop this uh, sweater off. Because our, our sweaters came in and they're lovely um, for the Halloween or whatever. They're nice, but they don't fit as comfortably as I would. Well, one of them does. And they don't feel that bad. It's just, you know, like how you get the your arm. You lift your arm to do that real quick to see what's going on down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of belly. So I'm like, I might just need to pair this with one of these like tank tops, honestly. That's what it's feeling like. That's what it's giving. I just need to pair it with that so I can, cause it ain't lengthwise, it still ain't too, too bad. It's just, it feels like you might have to pull it down here and there. The quality isn't terrible. Just, I'm probably gonna wear a tank top underneath it. That's all it is. Cause I actually do like it, so yeah. What y'all got going on? Y'all doing anything for Halloween? Y'all doing anything for the Halloween weekend? Y'all doing a weekend party? Going somewhere? I'm curious. Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation.